So I've been browsing my layer one watch list on TradingView, and especially I'm interested in layer ones because they have pumped the hardest in 20, 2021. And that also means that you have a lot of inefficient moves that are very likely to be fully corrected or um, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, corrected uh, on the way down, especially in the bear market. And one chart stood out for me, and that was Phantom, just to show you the inefficient move. This is an inefficient move. There's another one, it was corrected here, and there was another move uh, up. And I was just breaking down the chart, and let's just do it here. On the monthly, there's not really much to work with because there's the chart just doesn't have so much history. Um, there are some key levels, of course, but they also are quite confluent with the weekly. Uh, so from the weekly chart on, I will just um, draw some levels. This weekly block stands out for me because it provided support in here uh, at, at this correction in November. So I will just mark out the low. That's the bottom of the range and I will work with... Uh, this is not the best, but I can see if I will... Um, if I can specify it more on the daily. So this is more or less the entire range that price has been moving in, up, down, uh, deviation, move down. And uh, what level stands out for me more? This level, support, breakdown, support, support. And this, this is now the level that price has been hoovering, which for me is very interesting. And it also applies to this one. We have confluence with a weekly level. And this level also looks interesting. So let's just break it down to the daily. Because now we have a lot of lines and I'm mainly interested in key pivot points for price. So what I see is that this one is interesting, but it's not really offering, let's say, a good quote unquote explanation of price. Um, it's not irrelevant either, but I like to keep it clean. Uh, so they had a push up, move down. This was the ultimate low. Move up, printing a new high. Uh, correct it up to this level again. Found resistance. Small move back, most likely to the mid level of this range, which was now formed. Move up, retest of this level. All time high. Now I'm going to move this one to the candle body close here. Uh, support, retest, support, support, breakdown. Hardly any retest, but retest of this level. Running these stops. Retest, move up to this, hitting this small block here and here. Retest again, midpoint, breakdown all the way to the bottom. Accumulation, slow bleed, move up, up, mm, not really clean retest, but here clean retest, move to the mid level, based on this level here, up, retest, up, down to the mid level, correcting this inefficient move, deviation, close blow, dropping all the way through this level, finding support here. Retest of this level, bounce up, down, and now it's not even able to break above this small daily uh, bearish block. I supposed to hold as support, broke down, resistance, and now it's just hoovering here. And for me, this looks, because if you want to look at ranges, you have a clear trading range here, here as well. And you have a clear trading range in between these two and you have a clear trading range here so for me especially taking this into account if this level does not hold to me it suggests that we can move further down so that's the idea so what will i be looking at if i zoom in a little bit on let's Let's just focus on these two levels, because these two levels are now relevant. The rest is not relevant. Um, so on a daily, if we close above here and we find support, 
Then I assume that we move to the mid-level here. Maybe move down, but otherwise we can move up to this, running these stops and just going to this level. And then we can see what happens again. If this breaks down, maybe we get a retest, but then the idea is to trade this range. So what do we have? Because the level here is very clean. But then, of course, we had some deviations below, so we need to fine tune the level slightly more. Let's see. So, what am I seeing here? We had a low here, the still is not run. Then we moved up here. So, for me, if I have to fine tune, this will be it. Why? Um, Okay, so there's still liquidity here, so maybe it will get run first. But this was the low before printing the new high. It bounced up, down, up, down, wicked it here, then moved up again. So for me, let's say if I want to specify the range, it would be here. Um, in this level. Let's see if the midpoint gives some confluence as well. Okay, that's very clear. Uh, so in, in that sense, uh, these are the key levels I work from, but I will just, uh, I can hide them. Actually, <laughs> I don't often do this. Okay, so what I'll just do, I'll delete them because I know exactly where the levels are. This is the range I'm working from. Actually, this gave us a perfect trading range. Retest of the mid, all the way down, mid-level, up, support, retest, down, up to the mid-level, down again. So this is the range I'm working from. Um, this was a clear deviation. Nice. Drop down. Uh, hopefully to get late, late shorters, drop them, close inside, retest, and then move up to the mid-level again. This was a beautiful uh, short sign. For those who took it, congratulations. Also confluent uh, with this bearish block. Not only mid-level, but bearish block wasn't able to run these stops, but who cares? It tagged it. That's interesting for a, a short setup anyway. So what am I looking at? Um, it could possibly be, of course, depending on what Bitcoin does in the overall market, is that we wick below, close back above, retest. And in, if you have another move up, maybe even tagging these highs, then this could actually be a long trigger instead of a short trigger anticipating a move here or if you could be really specific i see some resistance here you could actually create another range in the range and exactly then you get to this point so this would be target one this is target two if just that would be a long Going short, you get a drop. If price maybe closes above, but maybe goes back below, a retest could be interesting, but a retest is also tricky because it can actually result into uh, getting into a long position. You can always cut the trade, but if price moves down and grinds back up again, but does not close above, then you may assume, then you get this scenario, that price is... Uh, more willing actually to trade lower. First, of course, this level, but then this could be a decent um, entry point for a short where you could place stops either above here, whether I don't know what this level would be, or maybe here. This is very safe. Uh, and then you can trade the way down. So, how far would you actually trade it down? Then we go back to the other level. Let's see. Let me just look at the trade, the range that we could trade. Okay, so just go specific. We also most likely have a midpoint in here. I would define this as the range. First low, retest, deviation below, close back above, and then trade up. And what you can see is that we have a block here, daily block, on the midpoint. 
And this is interesting. So for me, this is an interesting level. Bottom, retest, retest, sell off, deviation, tagged the range low, tagged it, move up, correction, most likely hitting the mid level of the lower half of the range, moved up. What happened here? Sup support of the lower end of the range, close above, retest of the mid level. Close back below, retest, acting as resistance, sell off, retest again, move up. So if I would go short, then my first target would be actually the midpoint here, and otherwise the lower end of the trade. Of course, the first target is here, but I'm not expecting it to have so much weight because this was quite the dramatic sell-off maybe some exaggerated move due to additional liquidations etc people going uh, short gambling short uh, or geese whatever happened um, so that would be the plan to go forward so i'm looking at this level breaking it down again um, so this level is where we're currently stuck this is for me no trade at least no trade unless this level is broken. Summarizing. Wick below, close above. And having sustained momentum is a good moment to step in to trade towards first target, this level, and then this level. Break, break below, grind up, but no close above. And then showing uh, weakness again is an ideal uh, opportunity to go short first target second target of course guys no financial advice good luck and happy trading